I'm over here. Look, I got another box. Right, okay then. What have we got in the box today? Well, it says one sport on the box and it's the OT18. So let's get it all out of the box. Let's get it all put together. Let's put it by you and have a look. And there's also a couple of boxes within the box. So we'll have a look at them as well. Right, okay, what have we got inside these other boxes? Let's have a quick look inside here. We've got a bag. There's a thing by there. There's a bell. There's some more things. And there's some more things. Uh, we've got the pedals. There we go, the pedals. we got a basic little tool thing there. we got the thumb throttle. You've got to put that on yourself. So I'm going to be putting that on in a minute. Um, we've got some cable ties. we got the axle the front axle for the wheel because you've got to put the wheel on we've got the quick operation guide and we've got operation manual so we've got quick operation guide and operation manual and we've got another box here let's have a quick look inside here is it open i don't know let's have a quick look that's the charger is it a uk plug i don't know yes it's a uk plug so there's the charger as well what's the amps on the charger it is two amps max Right, okay then, here it is, all put together. Now, what have you got to do to put it together? It's not a lot, but you have got to do a few things. The front wheel has got to be put on, the front mud guard has got to be put on, um, this headlight, which goes on when you put the front mud guard on, so don't forget that. Um, the handlebars have got to be put in, you've got to put this like cap on as well. The pedals have got to be put on, uh, the seat's got to be put in, and the rear mudguard is on, is fitted, except these long stays here, either side. You've got to connect them as well yourself. Now, also, the other thing is the twist throttle here. When the bike comes uh, out of the box, there's just two grips either side. The throttle is not connected, it's separate. So you've got to put the twist throttle on yourself. It's entirely up to you, uh, but I like to put it on to show you exactly what it's like. It's quite easy, but it is hard to get the old grip off. It's quite hard to pull the old grip off, but with some force, you can get it off. And you've got to connect it here, down by here as well. So there we go. So that's what it's like when you get it out of the box and put it together. Okay, so the wheel size is 26 inches and the tyre width is 2.35 inches. Uh, we've got disc brakes in the front and disc brakes in the rear. Now, I do like a comfy seat and this one, look, is squidgy. It's lovely and squidgy. And also, this one flips up, if I can press the lever there. It flips up so you can pull the battery out. I'll show that in a bit. Uh, let's put that back like that. Now, you can see there's springs underneath as well. Push that down, nice and comfy. And also, it's got a suspension post. So a nice squishy seat and a suspension post with springs underneath. Lovely. So looking down at the battery, you can see that it's removable. So if I lift the seat up like so, you press the key in, turn it that way like that, so it unlocks it. Then you can oh, pick the handle up like that, pull the battery up like so. Now, on the battery, it says that it's 36 volts and it's 15 amp hours and 540 watt hours so that's the battery and it's easy to put back in too so let's just turn it around so we can get in the right position just lining up on there like that go down like so give it a bit of a push like that turn it and there we go okay so let's have a look up on the handlebars you've got the twist throttle there look come across you've got the seven speed shimano you've got your cable operated disc brakes you've got your little bell <laughs> go across down here uh, then we come to the display, we've got the display there, you've got a plus and a minus on off button, another grip there, cable operated disc brakes, and it has got the cut off switch inside, so let's, uh, let's put, turn the key and we'll have a look at the display. So where's the key by here, we give the key a little turn, like so, and then hold down the on button for a few seconds, and it should come into life, there we go, and you've got your speed there, which is set to miles per hour got your trip, your auto, your battery. Um, now, I think it's only three settings. I think it's uh, one, two, three. And three is high. It's, it says on there, medium and low. And then if you do, if you want the lights on, you hold down that plus button there. You can see the light switch has come on there. If I put my finger out the way, you can see it better. <laughs> 
and there we go there's the front light there the front light is on and we'll go to the back here and it has got a back light as well there now i did pull the brakes and there isn't a there's no brake light it's just a, a light so we've got a back light there and we got the front light there which is integrated into the bike which is nice right okay coming to the rear of the bike and we've got this rack here now this rack does feel it feels very very strong i'm not quite sure what the weight is sometimes they put the weight on these they're marked on you but i can't see it on you so if i find out i'll put the weight on the screen now you can see that the hub motor is tucked away down there in the rear wheel now i will show you the seat here it is a suspension seat and you can see that it, it might not be able to see it let's see if you can focus on that bit there it's a bit of a lip there so that's as far as it goes down so i'll sit on the bike now and i'll show you what it looks like with me sitting on the bike down on this lowest point okay then i'm five foot ten or 1.78 meters or 178 centimeters um now you can see my foot is almost flat to the floor not quite but almost flat to the floor um but when you do sit down on the seat it might go down just a little bit because it is a suspension post but uh, the seat in position i've got this handlebars now that's on its highest it can go lower or higher but that is the highest point it can go to and the seat in position is lovely I i'm going to enjoy riding this bike i know already just by sitting on it and the position that i'm really going to enjoy riding this bike so i think let's get out on the open road right okay here we go to the left of us up the hill so let's go up the old hill challenge here we go this is the sort of the uh the lower part of the hill let's try this tree um let's watch this car in it right let's try just the uh, pedal assist i'm in pedal assist level two it's quite nice it is quite nice it feels like uh, it does come in is it, let me just press a bit harder see what it's like yeah it does feel like it's a let me go on level one let me go on level one let me just check it out a minute right, so level one is it still gives you quite a bit of assistance it's still quite nice let me stop pedaling a minute and pedal again i think it feels like it's a cadence sensor to me but um so the, once you start pedaling the power comes fully in so let's try level two and it does make it level two makes it really easy it, it makes it super easy let's try level three up a hill here we go <laughs> and uh it's it's starting to go faster than my legs can push it now so it must be a cadence sensor we come into the tunnel here we go through the tunnel don't think there's any drips today or water because it's been dry for a while here we go oh it's very cold in this tunnel <laughs> right there we go it's a lovely day today though nice and warm still cold in the tunnel but anyway we come into the steeper part of the hill now so my legs are turning but i'm i'm not actually putting any pressure on the chain if you know what i mean so any cars coming behind me look right let's go again pedal again get some power up now we come into the steep part of the hill i'm in level assist three i'm in gear three it's a seven speed shimano and i'm in gear three and um, we're doing 13 miles per hour let's see if we can right now now i'm doing about 12 miles per hour and i'm putting ooh, a tiny bit of effort in let's try just the throttle that's the throttle on his own now i'm not pedaling i'm not pedaling at all we're doing 10 miles an hour this is on the steep part of the hill about nine ten miles an hour it's taking me up here like I said, I did say earlier on, it's a 36 volt, 15 amp hour battery. So it should have a decent amount of range. Even when you lose the throttle, it should have a decent amount of range. But it is getting me up here. I'm not pedaling at all. Look, I'm not puffed out. I can talk without getting puffed out. So uh, let's have a look. We're still doing ooh, 11, 12 miles an hour. And we are on this quite a steep part. But um, let's get further. But let's try pedaling again. See what pedaling's like on level three. It is it's easy it's easy <laughs> and i'm in gear three so i got another i got another two bigger cogs to go so uh and i gotta say 
it's a very comfy bike to, to ride. It's very, it, it is a very comfy bike to ride. Let's pull over by the old cattle grid a minute. Right, okay, it got up the hill quite easy. I was quite surprised actually. It was very easy. Now, I gotta say, I did say earlier on, this seat looks comfortable. I can tell you, it's very, 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 very comfortable. That's very comfortable. And the, the seating position on this bike is, I gotta say, I, I, like, I, I do like handlebars a little bit higher than the seat. I don't like be, being crouched over, but I gotta say, this bike suits me perfectly. It's very comfortable, very comfortable. Um, but it did, it got up there easy and we're gonna go, I'm gonna go up there. If you've seen my videos before, I go right to the top of the hill and I usually come back down. I might go a little bit further today because it's a nice day, but um, like I always say, hills don't show. It's a shame hills don't show, but it is a hill. Um, <laughs> so I'll go up to the top of there, but I expect this bike to get up there really easily because it, it was it was quite easy. Um, I think it's classed as a 250 watt, uh, 250 watt sort of constant power and peaks at around 350 watts. So. Like, if I didn't have that twist throttle on it, this is a completely legal, legal in the UK e-bike. Anyway, let's get up there. Right, okay, let's get going. Right, okay, here we go up the hill. I better go up the top of the hill first and try the old brake test before I come back down. And then I think I'll go over to the the right down a hill up a hill and go a bit further that way looks like the sun's coming out again which is quite nice <laughs> does go a little bit chilly when the sun goes in but when the sun comes out it's lovely and warm so let's get right to the top of the hill up there right okay i've made it up to the top of the hill so we're going back down let's get a little bit of speed up we'll do a brake test like I said before, it's not scientific at all. It's just a laugh. So what are we doing? Ready, steady, break. Oh, <laughs> I do like a good break test. Now, let's have a quick look behind me if I can see anything. Oh, I'll, uh, let's back up like this. There we go. All the way back up, you can see where the break started and I'll stop right by there. That's where we broke. So there we go. That's how good the brakes are. I don't know if that tells you how good the brakes are or not. All I can tell you is it stopped me. So that's good enough for me. Anyway, let's go down there. Now, the only problem with nice weather is when you go fast down a hill, there's more bugs and stuff flying around. So they tend to go in your face, but uh, I shouldn't moan about the nice weather. So let's get down this hill. Right, here we go, another big hill. Let's get up this hill as well. Start putting a bit of pedal power in. This is quite steep as well, but it's making it easy, very easy. And uh, the rolling resistance of this bike is quite good as well because the, the wheels are quite light. They haven't got big thick tires, so it is quite easy to pedal. The bike is easy to pedal if you turn the power off. Trying to pedal the bike yourself, even without the uh, battery power, is quite easy. Right, so we'll go up by here a little bit and then we'll have a look at the view. I'll show you what Caffili is looking like from the mountains today. Right, okay, I've just pulled over and there's a nice lovely view just to the right of me by there. So let's have a look what it looks like. There we go, that's the view I got at the moment, look. See the sheep in the fields, quite nice, isn't it? Looks beautiful on a, on a nice sunny day all the mountains. I'm trying to see if I can pick out anything. I'm trying to see Caffili Castle is somewhere, somewhere along there somewhere, but I can't quite see it at the moment. Uh, where is it? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It might be down that. No, I must be over there somewhere. Uh, where is it? If I find it, I'll point it out, but I can't see it at the moment anyway. So, and you probably can't see it on the camera either. So there we go. That's the view I got.
So all the links for the One Sport OT18 will be down below in the description. So check it out. Anyway, let's go a bit further onwards. Now the top speed of this bike is sort of locked out at 15.5 miles an hour because I've tried it at, with full throttle and it goes 15.5 miles an hour. So it is locked out to 15.5. I'm not sure if you can unlock it, but I'm just testing it as a legal sort of e-bike. I have got the throttle on, but I'm just testing it out as it is. Now, I was trying to look for Caffili Castle and I came past another bit by here <laughs> and I did manage to see it over there. I don't know why I couldn't see it before, but it is over by there somewhere. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction. It's down that way somewhere. It's got like a little green thing in the middle of it. I'll try and zoom in on a camera, but I doubt if the camera can see that this far. Um, but it is in that direction, Caffili Castle, from where I'm standing at the moment. Anyway, let's carry on. Right, the width of the tyres, I've said before, are 2.35 inches, so they're, they're pretty, you know, they're not the skinniest of tyres, so they do soak up the bumps a little bit. You've got the front suspension, you've got the padded seat with springs, and you've got the seat post, which has got suspension in there too. So it is a very, very comfortable bike. And uh, I gotta say, like I've said before, it's upright. So I, it's a very comfortable bike to ride. Right, okay, coming to the right of me, going down a big massive hill now. We're going down a hill instead. <laughs> so let's go down this hill. So look, right, here we go. That's the nice thing about, if you go up a big hill, eventually you'll go down a big hill. And that's where all the fun is. Fun is. It's very windy. <laughs> It probably doesn't sound windy to you because the mic is very good at stopping the wind, but it is very windy coming down this hill. Now, I have done a review of another One Sport e-bike, the OT16, so that's on my channel as well. So go and check out my review of the OT16 as well. Here we go then, up another big hill. There's quite a lot of torque. There's quite a lot of torque on this uh, 36, it's only a 36 volt, but it's got quite, quite a bit of torque for 60, 36 volts. Let's see if we can get up this. Now this is very steep. This is very, very steep. <laughs> there we go. We made it. Well, I've done about five miles now. Well, I have, it says it's done, I've done five miles. Uh, going up loads of hills, coming down the hills, going along the flat, pedaling, not pedaling, using the throttle. I was using the throttle quite a lot on the hills, but it's still showing a full, um, the battery bars are still one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five battery bars. So I, I expect this bike to go pretty far on a full charge. Right, okay then, there you go. That is the review of the One Sport OT18. All the links are down below. Go and check them out down below. And I gotta say, it's a very comfy bike. I find this bike very comfortable and very easy to pedal. Anyway, if you did like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ho-hoi!